All right, real quick talk through. One by eights here, 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 and here. Two by threes here, here, down there, and along the back. And then I stuffed these channels full of the green fiber insulation, as tightly as I could get it, jam those on. Also insulation on the bottom panel, so it's insulated all around. Then the glass is permanently installed both on the front and the top with the food safe caulk all the way around, good up to 500 degrees. And we've got the real glass mirror on the back. This is quarter inch plywood here, here, and on the top of the platform. These are just a couple of one by four scraps where I attach this hardwood one by three on the door handle to open it. That's it. It's double coated paint primer, flat black Krylon. And then I use the weather seal around the edge, even double sealed it on the front. This just sets down around it and the glass right on top. Just to show you, I put the three pans in there to show you what it can hold. Got those three big ones in there. Normally though, use pans that are painted black. Those are the pans I'm actually going to be using. A little bit smaller, but they're already painted black. I don't want to paint my regular kitchen ones because that's all I got. This thing should easily get into 300 range, maybe even 400. All right, I got lunch in there. That's bean with bacon soup in there. Been in there about a half an hour. Sweet. Look at that, I hope you can see the steam. That was only like 20 or 30 minutes. start by making the inner and the outer frame. They're both 1x8s. This is 12 inch, 30 inch, 12 inch, and this is 15 and a quarter, 15 and a quarter, and the back one 36 and a half. That'll make the basic frame. I'm going to use these number 10 one and a half inches pretty much for the whole frame. Now let's do the outside wall. Now let's go ahead and cut the 2x3s down to brace this all together. Alright, now again, two by three, but these are the side bracers. Looks good. Check it out, you can fit three big pans in there like that if you want to. Now I'm going to cut down the two end pieces you see. All 
Alright, now the platform. That's pretty simple. 2 by 3s 11 and 7 eighths, 23 and 3 eighths, and then the eye will come to match. And we'll just screw this down. I just remember we've got to pop the holes in the sides for these too. Alright, now let's do the mirror assembly. Just quarter inch plywood. Okay, then I took a scrap piece of wood here and here, and I'm going to fix this piece of poplar one by three across there. And that'll be the handle. That's how it works. Perfect. But it sets down every time. Perfect. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and add the glass support. That's 3 8 inch square wood dowel. Alright, then I went ahead and sealed up the inside area where we're going to put the insulation using 100% silicone caulk and along the back. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and insulate this thing, sides, back, and panel. how tight that is. Alright, now let's trim down the last two because this adds a quarter inch. I'm using a three quarter inch square dowel and a two by two, which is actually one and a half, and then the dowel is three quarters. So that combines the two and a half inches across. By the way, of course, don't use any kind of fiberglass insulation around the food, and the foam won't handle the heat. Foam only goes up to 150 or 160, but this type of green fiber insulation easily, easily will work. You might have noticed earlier when I put these in, I only attached them on the outside but not the inside. That's because I wanted these pieces to lay flat. Now we can drop in the screws.
Definitely go with the handle if you can get it. Makes it super easy to use. Then I'll connect the baseboard to this. Now to get the insulation in this, I'm just going to remove this and this and take out this 2x3 temporarily. I should slide that out. Okay, now just jam the insulation right there, and then we'll drop the 2x3 back on. I just stuffed it in there, took a long 2x3, jammed it, filled it, jammed, filled, jammed. Just keep doing it till you can't get any more in. And then we'll have weather stripping around the edge. Up the side, and then I doubled it on the front. Now I'm going to bring it outside, paint it, add the glass in the mirror. That's just a rough shot of how it'll look. Alright, let's install the glass. Okay. You might notice on this, by the way, that I didn't slant anything. Everything's a rectangle. All the pieces of wood are rectangles. The glass is rectangles. This is rectangles. All of it. There's no slants, no curves, no triangles. Nothing hard at all to do, so it's super easy. There's no sense in like slanting and having a pan at the bottom, and then half of the heat is sitting up above the pot and just escaping through the glass. What you want to do is make these collectors to kind of hug the pots like this. So you want full glass on the top, no plexiglass, forget about that, no plastics. And then do a full glass front too. Don't do it like a lot of them do it where it's like solid in the front and they just kind of tip it forward. That's no good. This way you have the sun coming in here, here, and then here. This length should be about the length of here. It's just a little short, but this goes from here to here. That gives you about 70% more sun in there. And then with the front part, it's almost like having two suns. Again real glass on the front and the top. I didn't use any polished aluminum, cardboard, tin foil, uh, plexiglass, none of that. It's all real. All good solid stuff. This thing looks kind of light but actually it weighs probably 35-40 pounds. Sweet! That's great! And don't forget those handles are hot too so Use a pot holder. All right, and then when I'm done, I'm just dropping a tarp over it. Plan is to keep it outside year-round, and I got the table secured down like that. Concrete blocks, gravel, and brick. 250 degrees. 250 degrees, and it's bubbling. Those steaks are done. Our sun oven.